Welcome. So what I'd like to do is show you how to solve for this example. Uh, again, in this example, what we have is we have parallel lines, um, but now we have two transversals. And again, whenever we have two transversals, we want to eliminate the tran extra transversal, the one that we're not going to need. Because to have an angle relationship, we only need parallel lines and one transversal. So I, I go ahead and look at this, and I say, all right, so here's my parallel lines. Um, which transversal am I going to want to use? Well, this line is on this transversal, or this angle is on this transversal. And this one is on that transversal. So really, this other transversal is not doing anything except probably just confusing me more than it has to. So now I'm just going to focus on these parallel lines and this transversal. And I notice from the parallel lines that these two angles are exterior angles, as well as they're on opposite sides of the transversal or alternating sides. So therefore, I'm going to label these as alternate exterior angles. And by laying alternate exterior angles, now I know that they are equal in measure. So therefore, I can just set up an equation. x plus 20 equals 2x minus 10. Now we'll go ahead and solve for x. So I'll subtract an x over here. I get 20 equals x minus 10. Add the 10. Add the 10. 30 equals x. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve using alternate exterior angles. Thanks.